Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I want to put together um, sort of like a rainbow butterfly in a 12 by 12 sh um, shadow box. And so what I did was, I'm gonna move the shadow box out of the way because now that you've seen what it looks like. Um, I, in Design Space, we created this cut sheet, right? So this is gonna be up to your preference, how much you want to be showing on the inside. Then on the inside piece, I use my debossing tool, and I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying. Oh yeah, you can. Do you see it? It did the shape of the heart for me exactly where I want it, so that I know where to put the butterflies to give that perfect heart look. So it's going to go like this. But of course, right now we're not going to need this at all. So all right, so we're going to move that out of the way. And I want it in this order. I'm going to start out at the bottom with this and move all the way to the top and go from green to yellow to light pink to dark pink. So that's kind of what I want to do. I'm feeling, I hadn't decided whether I'm going to place everything down and then glue it. That's so much work, but okay. I think that's what we need to do. So I'm going to, the outline of the, of the heart is going to be the furthest out of my butterfly. So if my butterfly wing is kind of up, then it's going to be up like that at the edge of the line. If it's going to be flat, then it's going to be in more like that. Um, so I'm going to start building my butterfly. I feel like I, it's really going to be hard to build this without just putting it down. So I'm going to go for it. I know, I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm using a glue gun to just do the back of it. And what I did was I cut out the butterflies and then, um, I'm gonna do a little bit off center. I cut the butterflies and then they're flat and then I just took a ruler. I meant to show you, I meant to save one but you take the ruler, put it right down the middle and push it up so that you have a nice crease, okay? All right, so we have our first butterfly down. I'm really not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a small one up here. I guess I'm gonna layer it behind. All right, here goes nothing. We're just gonna be building this thing. Um, I use 65 pound paper cardstock. And because the butterflies are kind of um, overlapping one another, I'm not too worried that I'm using 65 pound paper cardstock and the glue gun is changing the color a little bit because it's sort of just like that faded with the colors anyway, so I'm gonna be okay with that. So you see how I'm following along the line. I'm just gonna keep adding, and I'm varying up the, the sizes that I'm using. So I wanna make sure this one is gonna be really, really just like a few more. So I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to balance it so that um, we don't get off balance somehow. We'll see, all right. But I like the idea of debossing because, um, and I just got glue on my paper, but again, the butterflies are gonna cover it up, so I'm not too worried. Um, I'm gonna change colors now. So let's see. Start out with this middle one. Yeah, I really like the idea of having this template otherwise it'll be really really hard to do all right so that butterfly is going to stick up a little bit we'll see how that goes okay and it's sitting in a shadow box so I feel like um, it's going to stay in place because you're not going to be touching it a lot I feel good about that. Um, 
And then I think for the name, I'm gonna have it sit on here. And I'm gonna do an offset. I'm thinking of doing one of these colors for the for the offset and then doing a gold like foil HTV. So then I'm gonna iron it on and it should look really, really pretty. So all right. <laughs> but let's continue building our butterflies. All right, so and some of these, you know, because they're kind of small, they were under an inch. Um the antennas didn't really survive, but I'm okay with that because I don't think you'll notice it. And I wasn't gonna go change my butterflies at that point. Okay, I think this is looking good. We shall see. It's just so pretty, but I just have never done this before. So we'll, maybe a small one. So this month, when you follow me on the videos, I'm gonna be doing a lot of the 3D letters. So I know we're gluing, but I'm also talking about these things right here, where they sit up. I mean, they're a great party display tool. So I just wanna throw that in there. I'm gonna leave that up here a little bit um, so that you can brainstorm. If you have some ideas for me, let me know but I'm excited to be trying that. I always wanna add new things, but I think that we can do so many things with that. I was thinking um, we could do a shaker, of course, on top, so in whatever theme. And then I was also thinking, I realized when I was making the outline that um, I tried quilling for a split second a year ago, and I think this outline is perfect for that. So I wanna try one, one tutorial of that. Okay, I think this purple is almost done. I'm gonna throw in one more, and then we'll do the next color. And then I also, you know, because I, I really like my off the mat and I'm always trying to make it seamless. I think with the pattern for the 3D um, letters can be off the mat and can be made really big. So that's definitely gonna be a challenge. So that's all coming up for the month of October. Okay, so I think I'm done with the purples. I'm gonna do the blues running across. And so I feel like I wanna get like a really big blue and kind of put it center. And I think for the blue, I'm just gonna do one line. It's gonna be too big. Maybe I'll do one more. This is so pretty already. I feel like I want to make another one. I mean, anything hearts and butterflies and pretty colors, right? <laughs> okay. Now I do have the design space tutorial where we create the butterflies and the different sizes. It's really important in this one that we do have the different sizes. Um, let's see. Outside, so that you just don't have a really, I don't know, blah. Like it would just be so obvious if all the butterflies are the same size. So you want to make sure you have different sizes, different colors. That will make a huge difference. And I get a lot of questions on this glue gun. This is Lynn Lily's um, from Shore Bonder, and it's an awesome glue gun. It has a glue stand, so it's cordless, and then it's charging, warming up. It has the dripper catcher all. <laughs> so it's just a great little gadget to have. All right, I'm gonna stick this in, and then I'm gonna go for the next color. I'm 
got glue on my butterfly. So I'll let that one go down and then I'm going to do one more just to cover up that glue. Okay. Alright, so my blue is down. And so you can see we're like halfway through the heart with a lot of colors left. So I want to add in, um, we'll do the next row of blue and then green. So, hmm, I'm going to just fill in not even a full row of this light blue. And then I'm going to go to my next color because I have a feeling that I'm going to run out of space. Loving this. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to tuck in a few of these blue ones and then start to, to put in the green as well. Just so it looks more of like an ombre effect and not so. Oh, I needed to get that in there. Hold on. It's hard to slide that one in. Okay. And maybe I can sneak in a little blue one back here. Just so it's not an empty white space. Yeah, right there. So pretty. All right. Um, because we want yellow and then pink and pink. Okay, so that's gonna be, I want this layer of green and then maybe even start in on my yellow layer. I got the um, the shadow box on Amazon. I'm sure I could have waited for a Michaels sale to get a really, really good one. But we just ordered it. And then don't worry about the inside. Remember, we can cut out anything in cardstock to make this in any size. So don't worry about that. Just know what size opening that you want in the big um, to hold. Hmm. I want another yellow on this side. Um, yeah. Then I'm going to do the pink one, pink one.
a dark pink. It's okay. <laughs> I'll have a lighter pink next to it. All right. Okay, so let's start doing some of these going this way so that the heart looks straight up because I don't want the butterfly to eventually go down this way. So far, they've all been going up this way. So I think from the middle out, it's going to go that way as well. All right, so let's get these down. Making me nervous. <laughs> um, let's do another one. It just seems so permanent. I'm gonna put the glue on the actual paper because I have to slide this butterfly in. I just didn't think I would be able to do that. Oh no, and it's getting stuck. Come on. Try to get, I have an empty space like right there. I think it's okay. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it, okay. Um, let's fill a little bit more of the yellow in because we still have a few more. Maybe another green one. That one's bucking the trend a little bit. Um, and then the rest will be pink, I think. to finish building this side. Ah, someone forgot to tell me. <laughs> okay, let's, um, <clears throat> let's build this side up a little bit more. Honestly, have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see how well this goes. Let's do this one this way. one right here. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger. Mm. 
deciding for that one to stay. Okay. Um, we need one more to fill in right there. That looks like a pretty good heart, right? Well, I'm just gonna fill in a few more, um, few more spaces here. I wonder if I should put a little yellow one right there. too dark. Maybe get a blue one right there. Just a few more and then we're done. Um, all right, I think I'm going to do between the dark and the light in here. Almost filled. All right, I think we're done. And that looks like a really well-shaped heart, I must say. <laughs> so I'm definitely a fan of that. So this is what it's gonna look like. So you have that white on white look. And then it'll be in this shadow box and then with the name on it. All right, let me know what you think. This was definitely, I saw it on Cricut's website um, they were featuring paper and Lux. Um, it was, I think, a commission piece that she did, and I just fell in love with it. I can see the differences. She definitely had some, a few, maybe like three butterflies in there that were just bigger in shape. So that probably would have helped. Um, oops, make sure that's not going to fall off. Um, that would probably help it just to vary it up a little bit, was to give... A little bit more size of a size difference which I didn't have so but I love it thank you so much let me know um, comments and questions and then if you have any special requests all right thanks guys